Hi, James. I'm excited to talk with you today about how to get employees back to work. So just to kind of set the issue up, we just recently posted a poll on LinkedIn and less than 5% of our respondents said they would be interested in an opportunity if it required them to come into the office every day. So this is a major mindset shift of, you know, generally with employees and candidates kind of across the board and people overall, just wondering, what are your thoughts on how employers should be responding to this shift? Yeah, I think that progress, not perfection, needs to be kind of the theme. And to make someone change their lifestyle and, and their work style overnight is going to create issues. And still, uh, in many states, including Michigan, you have to make sure that you can provide a safe work environment. And my OSHA still requires uh, remote work to the extent you can work remotely and get your essential functions done. So right. I think step one would be to identify what job duties are lacking with this remote work and see if there's an accommodation, such as maybe having them come in once a week mm -hmm. to handle those other duties that are neglected working remotely. So okay. we are even having you know some staff They'd come every other day. That way they're spread out. They're not as, you know, in close proximity to each other and coming in because they can't operate major printers remotely. Right. Yeah. Cause my understanding of the, the law here in Michigan is, or the, whatever you would call it, whether it's a law or a guidance is if you can work from home, you must is kind of the way I've been told to interpret that. And That's so true, but because there hasn't been a lot of case law that analyzes it, some companies are saying, if you can't do your job well, and you're having errors, and you are using the technology and the equipment, you really can't do it at home, or at least right. certain portions of it. So it's a little more gray and what you could accomplish at home. And maybe what you could accomplish at home temporarily for a one month to six months doesn't mean that you can accomplish that forever. Okay. And I would look at job descriptions. What about uh, interpersonal skills, interacting with others, mentoring people, leading people? Are you onboarding. able to do that? Yeah, onboarding. onboarding, right. Are you able yes. to do all of that? So what happens if you are trying to develop this plan to get people back into the office and you've got people that just say, I won't do it. Not going to do that. Not coming into the office. What is, how, how does the employer respond to that situation? So you're allowed to engage in the interactive process and say, why is there something that, you know, restricts you from coming and see if they have a doctor's note or some type of logical argument. And then you see if there's a reasonable way to accommodate that request which maybe let them come in during off hours or okay. ha ha see if they have any concerns about the safe working conditions. Gotcha. Okay. So this is like a, this is a really complicated mm -hmm. issue. It's going to require a lot of, you know, discussion with each employee regarding their concerns and trying to develop a plan. Is that, or is it, or would you suggest having, you know, different options available and, and trying to present those? I think it's going to be phased. So for example, what if the people working remotely have their cameras off when they're having a discussion with a coworker? Uh, the president of National SHRM says that's unacceptable. If you see somebody at work, you should be able to see them working remotely. Oh, and maybe you could okay. slowly you know, get them to um, be on camera and get them to get more accustomed to what it's like to be in person at work. That's really interesting. I want to cover that a little bit more, but let's uh, have a stopping point here and we'll cover that in our next video. Great.